Yay! Today we're talking to amazing artist Anna Doherty all about her brand new picture book, Lots of Dots, a joyful, colourful tale about friendship, inclusivity and belonging, with a focus on shapes, patterns and colours. Let's get started. We're so excited to see a third collaboration between you and Pippa Goodhart. What's your favourite part of working with Pippa? My favourite part of working with Pippa is definitely that her characters are so sweet. Like the second you read the text, I feel like I already know them. They feel so friendly. Like I would want to be friends in their little friendship group. I really like all of her characters. They're so full of energy and just nice. So I think that's my favourite part of it. Whenever I get a new book from Pippa and I meet the new characters and I already know that we're going to get along really well. Do you have a favourite spread in the book? Who was your favourite character to draw? This is hard to choose, but I think my favourite spread from the book is the scene where they're all preparing for their party towards the end um, and they're all individually doing little tasks to get ready so some of them are making banners and flags some of them are painting badges some of them are hanging up bunting um, and I just really like that for two reasons one I like the idea that you can see they're all going doing their own thing and then they're gonna come back together for the party. So it seems like they're all using their skills in order to make it the best party that it could be. And I think as a child, I really liked pages and books where lots of things were going on so you could imagine what else was happening out with that. So because there's four different pictures, you can imagine what's happening behind the scenes in each picture. So I like that aspect of it but also I just really enjoyed drawing it I liked imagining who would be doing what who would be best at which task and also just how to lay out the page so that it was seemed really busy like lots of things were going on but also it wasn't overwhelming and confusing so I liked the way of laying it out as four different vertical columns with the text going down so that you could follow through kind of like a little mini graphic novel <laughs> or a little animation storyboard in a way and I yeah I just had fun with that one so I think that's my favorite um my favorite character to draw oof I think this changed spread from spread I really liked snake in terms of a snaky body it can be in all sorts of fun shapes like draped over things curled up on itself so that was fun to play with the shape of snakes sneakiness <laughs> um, but I also really liked monkey for the same reason that you can be a bit cheeky with a monkey they can be like in fun positions um, they're a bit more like childlike shaped so you could play a bit more and imagine what a child would be pretending to be a monkey like and put the monkey in that position and also monkey has a tail which is like snake can be in different positions hanging off things or curled around or floating around so I think Snake and Monkey were my two favourite characters to draw. But that being said, I think Ladybird is my favourite character. She's just so sweet and enthusiastic as I like whenever she has a little banner or a flag. Because it's just so tiny compared to everyone else. How do you think your three books with Pippa link to each other? Are there any similarities, any completion when they come together? I would say, although Best Test, Lots of Dots and Fair Shares aren't connected necessarily in terms of the fact they don't have characters that are in every book or they're not set in the same location in every book, they're connected in terms of they all feature a little sweet message and they deliver this message in a kind of similar way throughout the books. And also, they all centre around a group of friends who are so willing to help each other out and to help each other become better versions of themselves and to find what each other are good at and are just generally encouraging to each other. So I think they are nice as like a little charming trilogy and I'm really glad that I got to work on all three with Bubba because I think it is nice that it's like a set of three unconnected friendship groups who are just there for each other and who are explaining different good messages to get across to children. Finally, are you team Doxy or team Pattern? I am definitely team Pattern, as long as Monkey is allowed to join. I think the bigger the team, the better. And who wouldn't want to go to their party with all of their games and the food and the colorful flags? 
and it gets easy. Team patterns all the way.